Okay, so here we go with this problem. In this setting, you'll notice that the directions say all zeros. Okay, all zeros, um, that's a little tricky. So if I ask you to find all zeros, we're going to go back on to something we've done before. We're going to use synthetic division, and we're going to factor, and we're going to solve, just like we started this particular section. So we're going to do all those steps. But you'll say, where do we start? Like, what do we use synthetic division with? And that's going to be the new piece. So what we have to do is, we have to use the rational zero theorem to find a starting point. Now, the rational zero theorem tells us to take the factors of the constant. The constant here is 30, so list all of the factors of 30. Okay, remember you put those over the factors of the leading coefficient, and the leading coefficient is the 2 in the front. and then you make your list of possibilities. So this is a huge possible list. So I would take the values and put them over one. All the green values go over one. One, two, three, five, six, ten, fifteen, thirty, so we put all of the values over 1. Now we'll backtrack and put them all over 2. So you'd also have 1 over 2. 2 over 2 is 1, and that's already in our list. 3 over 2. 5 over 2. 6 over 2 is 3, and that's already in our list. 10 over 2 is 5, and that's already in our list. 15 over 2. And 30 over 2 is 15, and that's already in our list. So this is our list of candidates. So when I get ready to solve this one out, I'm going to pick a blue number and try it. The reason we made this list is we don't want to start with something that we know won't work. For example, if you look at this list, I know that 7 wouldn't work. 7 is not a possible 0. So I wouldn't want to waste my time trying 7 if it wouldn't work. So what we're going to do is go through this blue list and keep using synthetic division until we find a number that works. Okay, so I'm just going to start here at the front and start with the number 1. I'm going to use synthetic division with the number 1. Okay, so here goes my synthetic division step. I bring this 2 down and I use synthetic division. Multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. Okay, this one did not work. You'll say, how do you know that it works? You'll know that it works if you get a zero as the remainder. So that means one did not work. So we'll keep going down our list. Next, we'll try negative one. You keep going through synthetic division until you find one that works. Now, if this red step, if you haven't seen this before, this is called synthetic division. You need to brush up on synthetic division. At this point, I'm assuming you've already mastered that objective. So if you had trouble with the red step, either message me or go back and look at a previous section of notes. So with synthetic division, I bring down my first digit and I multiply and I add and I multiply and I add and I multiply and I add. This did not work. Okay, 
So keeping going down the list, the next thing I'll try, just going through the list, I tried 1 and negative 1. Let's just try negative 2. Just keep going down the list until you find one that works. So starting back over, I'm going to try negative 2. Yay, it works. The reason that I know that it works is that the remainder is zero. If the remainder is zero, that means it divides evenly. So that means for this particular problem, one of the zeros is negative two. Now, that's the synthetic division step. Great, we found one that works. After we do the synthetic division step, my next step says factor. Remember that this particular problem started with x cubed, so this synthetic division answer right here is going to begin with x squared. So this would be 2x squared minus 13x plus 15. So this step would be to factor. Now I factor mine by trial and error. You are welcome to factor yours by bottoms up or some other method. If you have trouble with the factoring, just message me. I'll be glad to help. So it's a hard trinomial. The choices for 15 that I'm going to choose are 3 and 5. I know the signs are the same and they're both negative. If you chose to use bottoms up, you're going to be looking for the factors of 30 that add to give you 13. Okay, so this was my factor step. Once we get there, we're going to solve it. So we're going to take 2x minus 3 and set that to 0. And we're going to take x minus 5 and set that to 0. So 2x would equal 3. And x would equal 3 halves. So that's our second one. And for the last one, x would equal 5. And those would be all zeros of that polynomial.